Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, we have our dragonborn fighter here. We escaped from the Nautiloid in the last episode and now we're getting ready to find out what's going on next. So uh, the, the DM has said as we awake, the tadpole squirms in our skull. Um, let's check ourselves for injuries. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle given everything you've been through, but it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Okay. I'll auto save. There's nothing around over here. No, oh, there's Shadowheart. We're a decent person. We'll just wake her up. Mm. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Um, it doesn't matter. We made it. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling, the nothing. What happened to our gift friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Mm, we should look for her. She might be injured or worse. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first, we need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Okay. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. You want to stay together, I take it? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Oh, we're a hero. Lead the way. All right, let's uh, search around, find some interesting stuff, and get through the story. Got some disarming trap kits. That's good. Hey, a nice hat. I wonder what it looks like on me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry. That just looks ridiculous. <laughs> it looked funny, though. That that did look funny. All right, we don't need any grass or any of that stuff. Nice gold is always a good thing. Nothing on the intellect devourer. Shanties for the bitch queen. Fresh water. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Uh, shanties for the bitch queen. And we all row with the spray on our necks, with the spray on our backs, with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother lash us to the prow. We ask you to sail your skirt if you allow. Uh, yeah. You can read that if you want. <laughs> I'm gonna pause the videos to read anything on the screen if you don't, if I don't sit and read it. There are going to be a, there's going to be things I'm just not interested in. I don't need your letter. Let's see, anything interesting here? Oh, come on, I picked it up. Thieves tools, very nice. Okay, we'll take all of that. Okay, we'll take that, why not? I don't think the intel any of the intellect devourers are going to have anything on them. Uh, a locked door. You get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Uh, we'd have to roll a natural twenty to get that. I'm not gonna. Well, I mean, we can. I don't think it matters. I don't think we. I think I don't think we lose our lock pick unless we fail and then use the lock pick to try. Okay. Well, we failed that. That's fine. 
we would have to use a lockpick to try again, so. There's some intellect devourers over there. Make sure we pick up all the cool stuff from these people. Every little bit of money helps. Money and camp supplies. I'll tell you about that once we go to once we go to our camp. All right, we're in a fight. <clears throat> Should be a relatively easy one. Uh, we'll take a free hit. I was really hoping that she would kill that. Put to our melee weapon. Bash that. We'll use our flourishing option to do... What happened to my animation? Right. At least they had to dash. Let's try to kill that. Nice. Have him hopefully finish this off. Very good. Now we can level up. Don't really need anything for our fighter. He just gets an action surge for level two. That's pretty much it. And then preparing spells. Let's see. Are there any spells I want to swap out? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm fine with what she has. All right, let's get a move on. The intellect devourers will never have anything on them, so I'm not particularly worried about that. Very nice. Let's get this guy. Swift as my feet can carry. Sometimes it is easier to just click and go over there. The game does have relatively good auto pathing. What's this? Arsonist oil. And there's a dead mine player. Okay, I'm moving right along. You know, no point in even messing with those. Okay. Oh. Well, let's try. Let's try our hand at it. Oh, it's only a five, so we have a good chance of getting. Oh, come on. All right, well, that sucks. We have a 75% chance of getting that good, and of course I rolled low. Anything up here? Not really. Oh, look at this guy. Hurry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? <laughs> Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. And you, keep your distance. No need for this to get messy. I need him alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. Ah, promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. I'm gonna melee attack this guy. Screw him. You son of a! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm, the light, the fear. What was that? What's going on? Um. Honestly, I have no idea. It's those tentacled monsters. 
Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during whatever just happened. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, glad to see you we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I will introduce myself. I'm a Baldurian too. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Um, uh, I know we don't want them in our heads. No. Of that much, we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? Uh, and what's your plan? Well, getting out of here for a start. Then finding anyone who knows about these worms. I need an expert. Someone who knows how to control these things. Bum, bum, bum. Control them? I want them gone. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Mm. Well, and I need company for the road. Why not come with me? You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. And that levels him up. So that's good. He doesn't really get any, he just gets the predefined actions. We don't get any options for that. All right. And then I, let's go this way. Just trying to uncover darkness on the, on the map as much as we can. Dead Mind Flayer here. Footprints. They may be even more that survived the crash. Oh, look at this thing. What's going on with that? Worth checking for slides, maybe. Some stain or something. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Well, we're not going to find anything out by walking away. That didn't feel good. <laughs> A hand? Anyone? Well, let's try to grab the hand out. Why not? He clearly needs assistance. I'm not going to play this character as like overly suspicious. Keep pulling. <clears throat> He's a good, generally helpful guy. And unless you give him a reason to cross, unless you give him, unless you cross him or something or give him a reason to be suspicious, he's not going to assume that every, everything's out to get him. Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. Usually better at this. Um, no need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. So oh, nice. I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nausloid as well. Yes, I was. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. Agreed. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? 
A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. I'm going to always pick the class option when it's available. My hands are better suited to less delicate pursuits. I can offer you a swift end. I can't cure you. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer. And soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite... Halved, or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you, for I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. All right, and now he's leveled up. Let's give him a quick level up and then we'll move on. So, uh, I'm going to go with Necromancy, because I just think Necromancers are cool. And I want to see what the abilities are as we level up. And then, for spells, definitely Magic Missile. And we'll do Ray of Sickness as well. I don't think I want any other ones. Okay, let's pick our spells. Let's take away Grease and put Magic Missile in for that one. I'm not a big fan of Thunder Weave. Yeah, and we'll put Ray of Sickness in there. I like having long range spells available to me. We'll hold on to sleep just in case. All right, so that takes care of him. Uh, for just a second, let me, so, I don't... I don't think Asterion can use scimitars, right? Well, I think he has to use daggers anyway, so let's get another dagger in his hand. Yeah. We'll do that. And then everything else, I think we're set for that. Shadowheart doesn't need a ranged weapon. Asterion doesn't really need a ranged weapon either, but that's okay. All right. Because we have those unlimited fire bolts. They never run out. They're, they're cantrips. We've already been off in this direction, so we'll run up this path here. Zoru was right. It's almost like I knew she Never was there. Was twice <laughs> as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Oh, I didn't realize I still had a Starion selected. Mm -mm -mm. Don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. Hmm. Let's try deception. 21. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Persuasion. I'm in need of dire healing. Where is this camp? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. Well, there you go. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. All right. So they're going to take off. That's good. Enough gawking. Get me down. Say please. Never. Whatever. All right. Well, I do want to switch back to my main character, but he has a fire bolt that I can use to get her down. So, boom. Uh, 
hear goblins. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. Boy. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. It's awfully demanding, isn't she? And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gaith tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Hmm. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Or not. You can wait at my camp. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. Boy, she's not demanding at all. All right, well, that seems like a good stopping point. Um, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode there. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, please click the like button to make sure the YouTube algorithm knows. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you would like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you for the next one.